Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Old Rural Blues. I'm your host, Mr. Returning Hero Lover. But right now, we got to talk about the Chosen One. And 2270 now, three years after his departure, the Chosen One returned from himself and posed exile. Greeted by endless cheers and wild celebrations, everyone in a row was certain that they would again take up the mantle of leadership. The leadership of the council, which had guided a royal to dominate Northern California, had reached its end. Now to serve him, give him a hero's welcome. Goodbye, Dimitri Constant Constantalpos. Sorry, research division, but right now, we need to give him a hero's welcome, so... Must get the power back. He's back. Welcome back, Chosen One. He's a well-liked guy. But, as you can see, we're doing well against Eureka right now. Uh, I've taken quite a few casualties. We have them surrounded, the capital surrounded, and I'm trying to make sure we don't take it before we kill off all these other divisions and take off all this other territory down here, because they'll spawn a crap ton of divisions, which we won't be able to really do anything against, so... The Chosen One returns. His return was silent, like his departure. The town was obviously the bear of good news. That's very true. And then, uh, my wanderings. The Chosen One has a lot of stories. Vices of Reno, fledgling Republic of California, riders of Utah, nothing we haven't known of, but he seems to be more troubled than the past. Some of us wonder whether the harsh reality of the wasteland has gotten to him, but let's continue, shall we, with uh, having a good old time here. Mm, power armor. Hmm. It's going to be a little tough to break that, but these guys are not doing very well. But we can come over here and look at this. They have a little bit of manpower. And they have a good amount of equipment, except for infantry equipment, so... Overall, not too shabby, if I do say so myself. Um, I want to continue attacking, but it's going to be sporadic attacks. Like, for example, I don't want us to attack here at all. So don't do that. Uh, oh, we're trying to bomb them, too. I like bombing people. Um, do that as well, if you can. Come down here. Okay, maybe not. That's special forces. You guys do this instead. Uh, anything else here? And this is still glitched with this whole stuff, but whatever. It is what it is. Just keep attacking for now. Just keep pushing them down south. The more we can hurt them now, the better we'll be off. Um, you might just do that if you can. You might be able to go around them, perhaps. Not sure, entirely. So, yeah, we're just gonna push, 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 push as much as we can because we've got more equipment than they do, probably. So we should do okay. God, I hate fighting special forces. Gun runner request alone. Yes, you may have a loan. Vampire wise, we're doing all right. I don't want you to attack there. Stop. Stop. I want these guys to just continue attacking down here. That's the main thing right now. Stop. Stop. You're doing too well here. I do not want to take Akata first. Um, if anything, I want you all three to go right there. Oracle will be fine. Oh, don't take that small one either for now as well. There you go. Gotta hang out for now. Anything else around here? We get to get some war propaganda, which would be pretty decent. We already have 80%, though. I honestly would prefer more stability, but I'd rather get some more stuff down here as well, which would be very nice. Um, if any, you can go right there, and it'd be fine. Oh, go to go there, too, if you can. Actually, I know you can't. You might as well just go there, anyways. Go ahead. It's fine. A little damage, but not too much. Chore to clear on Kamalt Station, which is nice. Let's go right there. Yeah, they don't have a lot of strength down there, do they? And that's okay with us. Nice. They have taking attrition. We're taking attrition, but they are as well, which is great, great, great. Alright, destroy that division too. Thruster engines are nice. Uh, we don't have any heavy lifter bots. Let's grab some of those. And keep going. I don't want us to win here just yet, so you guys wait. Hold. If you guys are losing down here, then you should wait and hold as well. Let them soak up that attrition. Uh, no, we're good for now. Yeah, might as well be able to just win right there. Chosen One returns. Nice. A royal change drastically in the Chosen One's absence. Chits and Agor and Dimitri may each made their mark on the nation as to the disturbances. And the royal's neighbors turned into a semi-reclusive tribe in the region to a power. Dimitri's work was most impressive. Chits had her prudent shrewdness. She was an operative. Ooh. Nagor kept a royal safe. Ooh, that's pretty good. We get stability and war support, stuff we could use, and three empty signable trade slots. Oh, I gotta go with that one. That's so good. Um, Expert health fighter, that's definitely worth getting. Uh, Nagor. Oh, yeah, he's Nagor. Right here, right here. Three more slots. We're not even using all of them yet, because I want to use more robots, but we don't have robots yet. Well, we have robots, but not that many. Basically, as a weaponry, you can grab some of this too. Come over here and grab what? I'm gonna grab this one. We're hitting the hills and mountains a whole bunch, so let's do that one next. Because that'll help with the recovery rate, so that's okay with us. Um, basic weaponry. Yeah, let's move it back to the top for now. 
to there, put to there, put to there too. Which you're not allowed to win yet. Because that would be illegal. <laughs> but if you really want to take that towel, I'm okay with that too. Keep going. You know what, if anything, just go down here and take take all the victory points. If as long as you take the victory points, I'm okay with it. I'm taking out Arkata, but still. Now go in. So you guys can hold. As we're slowly just taking everything away. Take, 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 take everything away. There you go. Oh, nice. Jolly, jolly good. You guys come down here too. You guys spread out so you won't be tempted to attack them. Trish from Hawaii, we're gonna that. Let's go ahead. And we'll take the political power. Yes, please. We could use a little bit more manpower though, too. We may need to increase the conscription level, but we'll see. More games, expert health fighter, yes, please. Very nice, very nice, very nice. We're gonna go this way because it gives us it really hurts our CNC robots organization, but whatever. Uh, we'll go to this one next because it's gonna hurt us even more and give us less supply usage, but it does give us less defense too, which sucks, but whatever. Now go in there. Keep going in, keep going in, keep going in. Just hold. There's eight divisions up there, which is quite a few. Additional fertilizer. Boundaries, keep going in. Don't stop. And they if they want to move, don't stop. Don't let them. Of course, if we do this enough that uh, we destroy the power armor eventually, but you know. Let them go for now. Let them go, 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 go. Take all the VPs. They don't need a VP. Nice. Yeah, they're struggling there. They're destroying some infantry divisions, which is nice. Over here and air stuff. Yes. Oh god, we got a lot of air stuff, don't we? It's just kind of nice. And robots, yes. Right there at Hills and Mountains. Actually, you guys go right there. You go right there and do that. Nice. Very nice. Keep delivering a lot of damage. Good. Six divisions. I've destroyed another division, which is awesome. We're probably going to go ahead and raise our conscription level again to funded militias, even though I would like to get... Oh, we got them! Alright, then. God, lost. That sucks. Oh, greater civilization. Oh, that means we can't. Oh, can we not? Oh, we can still go there, which is good. Yeah, we can go to well equipped army. Do that first. Greater centralization. Our grip on the region has now been solidified. Having grown from a hopeful tribe into a mighty nation, we can now re reconsider how we view this various bodies that agreed to subjugation. While the lack of independence will remain true either way, we can begin to fully integrate them into our nation if we so wished. Begin integration? Ah! Oh my god, that's beautiful. I love it. Oh, that's, that's so good. Which was the one's wandering mind? More planes would be nice too. The chosen one had ventured far and why, when in his absence, and had seen a new side of the ways. He had wandered decades prior. His view um, <clears throat> on the world has been quite cemented since his last escapade through the wild territories of California. While no one truly knew what side of the west, southwest the elderly adventurer had gone to it was certainly an area where the grass simply wasn't greener. It was up to the chosen one's conviction on his past ideals whether hope would prevail or whether stagnation and wrath would take place over the future. Originally intended to be an advisory council, council members took the mantle of the chosen one after he silently departed. With his return, many wondered whether he'll continue to guide Arroyo to the future. Council will convene to determine the fate of Arroyo. He'd grown good. He'd stay the same. Bad karma. Bad boy. Old friends. A quiet return. I honestly don't remember which way I chose last time. Old acquaintance. I might have jumped in this one. Eastern Riders. Definitely not. And the Thunderbirds don't exist, so there's no point doing that one. Um, I guess we'll see. A Quiet Return. 
Chosen one returning to Arroyo in glory. For three days, Arroyo celebrated the return of their hero, knowing that their hero would return to them in entire need. A quiet return. Although Arroyo celebrated his return for three days, he did not partake in any of the festivities. He seemed to want some peace and quiet after a life of adventure. He will continue to protect Arroyo from outsiders. The, the Council's new position. The Chosen One's renewed leadership of Arroyo and returned the Council to the previous position as an advisory board. Still, the time to spend power dramatically altered the dynamics of power, shifting how they would advise the Chosen One in the future. So what you all get up to? Oh, Chitza's leadership. Dimitri's leadership and Agor's leadership. So we get more political power, caps income, research speed, reinforce rate, recruitable population factor, and equipment capture ratio. And we got lucky. Now the Chosen One wants to kill us. But I did double check. Also, we couldn't do a quiet return because I didn't choose that one, I guess. My bad. Um, becomes a unit leader. Ooh. But, uh, yeah, I guess that's true. I didn't choose that one. Uh, last time we did this, first time we played this in 4.0, we did do old acquaintances. And obviously we can't do this one because the Thunderbirds do not exist. So we went with something different with old friends. Our isolation kept us from formalities of diplomacy. Our relations with the Republic has always been amicable. Perhaps it's time to formalize a, a treaty or friendship between the two countries and lay the groundwork for further cooperation. And actually, I was going to go to war with these guys, but I think we already were just spying on them. Yeah, we were. But they're going to do that for us, aren't they? They demand territory. Hopefully, we can hold out against these guys, because if we can, that'd be really bad, but you never know. Um, return to speed of territories. No. Tra oh, more traders from Hawaii. We already have 100% war support, which is great. I want the political power, though. Uh, but go and grab the war sport. War sport's great. Old friends. Four ways it goes, two ways. Um, the California Re Republic offered to guarantee our independence in return of a small payment. While some opposed to pay tribute to the Republic, this could deter any faction from attacking a royal. No. I want it. What is wrong with you? I was trying to save some manpower too by converting some of these divisions over to robots. 12 combo with. We're still trying to improve these guys, but we'll see. We'll get there. Hopefully we can hold out. We do have planes. Quite a few planes I should add as well, but not... A ton. We do have some, and of course we still need to get up to funded militias, so... Well, we'll see if they attack. Yeah. So, other than that, Aegis looking pretty good. Uh, NCR's looking pretty good. Lost Hill's looking okay. Rumble Diana's looking okay. MacArthur's massive. Oh god. Here we go. Uh, this, we might not be able to hold here, but overall it looks like we're doing a okay ish Um, we can pierce some. They do have special forces, too. So... Pioneer kits, better pioneer kits for us. Uh, organization would be good. Even though we're not even need, really using special forces either, but whatever. You know, they can't break us. I'm okay with that. I'm totally okay with that. Second battle for Hoover Dam, which means the NCR is going to go to war soon, probably too. You're probably going to get attacked as well, and this is probably a bad idea, but we'll do it anyways because we can. Uh, but yeah, we definitely need to get more manpower. Vandor's box? Thankfully, yes. Awesome. Um, vehicles not too concerned. Special forces not too concerned. Robots. XP cost goes down, which we'll definitely, definitely, definitely need. Um, I just don't want to lose this tile as best we can. Because these guys are getting hit very hard. They got six divisions attacking like three. Not good. And the Del Sol's join the NC. Or not the NCR, but the other group. We close out of this one. We close out of this one. Uh, every time I or, like, try, try to load something in Oral Blues, like another save, the game just crashes all the time. And I hate it. Dress makers. Go. Hopefully we'll do okay here, but there's of course no guarantee. You gotta stay up there for now. You're still gonna get hit a whole bunch. Human commanders are not bad too. Um, harder organization, but more defense, less defense actually. More breakthrough, more soft stack. Let's grab age of the machines to get more coordination for everybody. Robots get more breakthrough, more organization. CNC robots lose organization, but that makes it's made up from the robots. I want, I think. And way more soft attack and heart attack with the CNC robots, which we could get, so. Hopefully we can do well here. Because right now it's not looking so great. Um, I want this group to be robots, so get some more entrenchment and such. Uh, yeah, we're not doing great. We definitely need more manpower. More pony power. 600 versus some odd. How much manpower do they have? They have thousands of manpower, yeah. Thousands upon thousands upon thousands. Actually, weren't we supposed to be guaranteed? Oh yeah, we can also core this up too. Ooh, do I want to core stuff or do I want more manpower? Probably more manpower, in all honesty. Oh, we got a lot of divisions. That's so not good. Can we actually win there? Special Force is just so strong, it's ridiculous nowadays. Here, make construction, you're going to go that. Please go right ahead. Yeah, you want to attack here, then you're going to die there. We are patient, that's fine. Um, you know what? Screw it. We're not even going to focus. Screw it. Because we can't afford it. We need manpower. So, we'll see. 
You know what? You're gonna hold out no matter what. No matter what. Keep holding on. God, you just don't, you really just do not get enough man for why do you still have exerting influence? Okay, so that's a, probably a bug in the game that needs to be removed. This should be completely removed, so we should get at least 0.5 more political power every single day. So that's something I hope the devs will correct someday, because it's not, it's, that's completely unfair to us. Why it's like that, so. Completely unfair. Uh, About 8,000 manpower, hopefully we can, uh, fire team, that's good that they're out of that. They have a ton of equipment, and we just have nothing here. So if we have to use cons commands, so be it. I'm at this point in my Hoi 4 career, I don't really care if we have to use cons commands. Uh, if anything, you actually do this too. You back up, you can conserve some uh, space and whatnot. I just retreat, it's fine. Make our divisions thicker. Or make our territories that we need to defend thicker. Should have plenty enough divisions to hold here. Should be not an issue. I won't tolerate it if we lose there. Should I have done use robots? Probably not, but whatever. This line is currently more solidified, except for here, which is going to suck. If we have to move over here, that's fine too, but still. Yeah, it's, it's bad when you choose not to do a focus, so you get more manpower. Four ways, give two ways. Oh, uh, Eureka and Fisheries are now derelict. Though we have enough skilled workers to operate the fisheries, we lack the technology and capital to do so. Perhaps we can set a joint business up with the NCR, maybe? Probably not, but maybe. Um, do the other one now too. Or encryption. God, I need to stay there. It's fine. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Yeah, we, we might have used cons commands. I don't know. This is kind of dumb. Let's go taking the raid. Help him out. Help him out. Uh, come over here. Um, get more organization for it, guys. That's fine for now. There actually. So we've lost about 1400. We've killed off only 1900, which is actually really bad. I'll get the robots over here too. Um, I right, was. Oh, we need wars, but we need political power though. Yeah, we definitely need that political power. So if I could, I would want to get more defense, maybe. Recon. Recon would not be bad, but we don't have a lot of recon since, anyways. General. No, go back there, go back there. So far, we're doing okay. Not great, but okay. Now it's for mobilizing more, which is good. Yeah, you literally cannot lose here. Because if you do, we're dead. Quite literally just dead. CNC iBots. Oh, oh, these are replaced with iBots. Okay. Hey, that works for me, man. Radar coordination, I guess. Cool. 600, 2500. They are desperately trying to kill us off. Our output would be good though. Um, let's wait for more stuff. These are slot. What are we building up here? Cities are alright. We can trade things away, but still. No, no, you ding dong, go through here. I clicked on this way. I'm surprised we're not getting that much more army speed. We should, I, are we nerfed to getting army speed? Because they're attacking pretty crazily. Hmm. Never really know, I guess. Concerned about this one. 
platoon training if we get for more organization right here. More piercing is all right to get. Not super important, but four ways goes two ways. Freaking fisheries. I'm sorry, but you are literally not allowed to lose, so I'd rather see you all die than anything else. Go in there too. How much more equipment do they literally have? Like, this is ridiculous. Uh, they're out of saws. They got plenty of infantry equipment, which is kind of crap. Yeah, I don't know. This is, this is a bit too much. Especially when the NCR is supposed to help guarantee us or something. Maybe not, except the NCR. Dealing with the barons. Um, it's not really worth it, to be honest. Overweighing tax is not bad. Support from old friends. Well, the, most of the NCR support has, now has been nominal. NCR Congress accepts to make their official support, greatly alleviating many of our problems. Republic taxes. Our ties to the Republic and the growing trade between our nations forces our hands to pay more taxes to the Republic. Um, let's see. With our recent expansion and stability we brought to the region, we're experiencing a population boom. To prevent a famine, we shall make a deal with the Brahmin barons of the NCR who supplies with fresh food. All right, everyone. So right now, it's a little update. Um, we're just kind of hanging out. Uh, Dimitri came back for, for some reason. Um, so, yeah, we're here. Further industrial planning. Going forward, Royal needed a plan. Much of its early industry had been scrapped together, similar to the rest of the wasteland. Dimitri's education taught him the value of planning ahead, a lesson which he hoped to impart to the Royal people. Followers' teachings. Dimitri vehemently disagreed with the followers' perspective on the wasteland. Violence may be regrettable, but to condemn it outright was over overly idealistic. New warfare doctrine. The fog of war is a term commonly used to describe the confusion that permeates any organized conflict. Dimitri was by no means a military man, but by consulting with the Royal generals and officers, he helped introduce a scientific precision into the Royal army. Prisoner test subjects. The max tech prisoners are, by definition, the scum of the earth. They're lucky that they can still breathe after their various heinous crimes, making them perfect subjects for dubious medical tests. Many doctors would object to this, including at least one point in his life, Dimitri himself. But the advances that could be gained far away the ethical questions. Review communication procedures. Now that we've experienced an air warfare, Dimitri has instructed that we refine and standardize our radio communications with our pilots. It will be a complex process, but the increased efficiency will go a long way towards aiding our pilots in combat. Retrofit old equipment. Small skirmishes over the past few decades have led to a sizable stockpile of old weapons in the Royal Army. Many may be on the edge of functionality, but a concerned or concerted effort to repair them might work to the Army's advantage. Fostering ground support. Air power should primarily serve to benefit ground forces. Careful training and clear communication is a key aspect of successful air superiority. Creating air domination. Air power is often often neglected aspect of warfare in the wasteland. A few tribes have the knowledge to understand the science behind it, let alone construct the planes. Thankfully, Dimitri's background has prepared him to find the personnel needed for an Air Royal Air Force and Batch 30. After numerous iterations on the basic ladder, our researchers have a invented a streamlined apparatus. While still outpaced by more advanced planes, what is now being called the Batch 30 combines ease of manufacturing with increased weapons and reliability. Now, we could go with NCR statehood, but we'll probably go with accept the NCR. It's time for a greater cooperation with the NCR, or the Republic. We'll formally ally ourselves with the group without compromising our own identity. Well, this wasn't exactly what I intended this campaign to be, but you know what? I would say overall this campaign was better than the first time I played a Royal, and hopefully the third time I play a Royal, it'll be even better. Um. Honestly, I didn't even do any focuses. Hopefully by the time I play a Royal again sometime, like I said earlier, this whole exerting influence thing will be gone because obviously we're not exerting influence anymore and these guys are all dead or absorbed into us. And uh, yeah, uh, basically I, I also had to use cons commands for troll and there's no way a Royal can survive in its current state against these guys. Had I chosen not to use robots and maybe win conventional warfare, that might be a drastically different story, but you never know. Um, additionally, the NCR is down here, and I had to use consequences for them because they were dying really fast, and if we're going to join the NCR, they're not going to die, so. Regardless, I hope you enjoyed the campaign. Uh, if you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching, have a great royal rest of your day.